হবে This is a mature dark fiction. You have been warned beforehand. Read at your own risk. This story line is having the timeline of 15th century. So expect the character's mindset like those days. Do not expect the characters to react to certain situation as per today's perspective. A man was sitting on the grass with a woman beside him. Her head was resting on his shoulder. His one arm was wrapped around her waist and other was holding his sword. He was the kingdom's brave chief commander's first in command, Jeon Jungkook. He had taken along with chief commander various difficult wars. His bravery and loyalty towards the kingdom was no hidden truth from anyone. King had praised him many times. Beside him the sitting woman was his lover Lee Wyan she was the king don's princess personal maid her father was a soldier in the king's army why my beloved is so silent today your grace there's no reason behind it don't lie my lady i know you for more than 6 months your grace will your parents accept a maid She couldn't even finish her sentence as he put his index finger on her lips. Don't say that my love. Don't ever. My parents are going to love you. No one's gonna oppose to our marriage. Just wait for 3 more months. After prince crown ceremony, I will be free for a few days. We will get married in that meantime. Love after all, we will have plenty of time to bring our future generation then. A pink hue adorned on Wyan's face after hearing his words. You grace, you you are what I am, love. You are shameless. Looking down, she said. Only for you, my love, only for you. He said, smiling widely. After spending some time with together they went to their respective side of palace With a smile on her face Wyan was about to go to her small chamber beside the princess but met with the prince trusted man Yeon She bowed to him immediately The prince has summoned you little maid Shock was cleared on Wyan's face. Do you want the future king to be angry with you and your loved ones? Wyan shook her head while bowing down. Then follow me, little maid. Helplessly, Wyan followed Yeon to Prince Chamber. After entering Prince Chamber, Yeon bowed at him, followed by Wyan. Long live Prince Thiam. I have brought the princess personal maid as per your order, your highness. Good work, Yeon. Now you may leave. Yeon immediately followed his order. And you little maid took off your clothes. After Wyan's departure, the prince said, making Wyan shocked. Your Highness, didn't you hear what I said? Took off your clothes now. I, I, I love someone, Your Highness. We are going to get married. Me, the future king, is willing to sleep with a low life like you, and instead of being grateful, you are telling me you are useless love. You low life, cursing her. He ripped the dress off her body. She was trembling badly that time. Mercy, Your Highness, mercy! Don't do this. I want him only to touch me. Before she could beg more, the prince had slapped her badly, leaving his handprint on her cheek. One more word, low life, and you wouldn't even imagine what I would have done to your so-called loved ones. 
Saying this, he lashed on her like a merciless hyena, touched her without her consent. Her screams, tears, begging didn't reach to his ears. He used her whole night until he felt fatigue. After that, he left her to his this chamber half dead. He didn't even told his men to summon a doctor for her. Why would he after all? She was just a maid, a low life whom he used just to satisfy him. She was meant to do this for the future king. At morning when a maid came to clean the prince chamber, she saw Vyan lying there like this. There wasn't any clothes on her body. Horrified, she called other maid and by chance Yon was coming there. So he also came to know about Vine's condition. As Yon was the one who brought Vine into Prince Chamber, he felt a little shame seeing Vine's condition. So without waiting for Prince Nest's order, he summoned a doctor for Vine. After some time, the physician came and treated Vine. She was unconscious for a long time and was told to bed rest for almost a week. Almost three days later. In three days, Vine couldn't get up from bed. Prince didn't summon her after that night. Yon took care of the matter as per prince's order, thus king didn't come to know about it. In those three days, Vyan didn't try to contact Jungkook, didn't went to their meeting place at night. So tonight, Jungkook thought to visit a chamber. He was at the hallway of a chamber when he heard two maids talking about prince forcing someone. Initially, he was ignoring it, but he heard Vyan's name. He stopped in front of the maids and asked them the full matter. Both were first denying to say anything to him as per Yon's order, but he used his position's power and threatened them to ban from the palace. Being frightened, they told Jungkook everything they knew. After hearing the news, Jungkook felt like ground sleeping under him. He hurriedly went towards Vine's chamber, hoping there must be another Vine they were talking about, not his Vine. But alas, as soon as he entered her chamber, he saw her lying on the bed, sick, her skin was pale, cheeks lost its charm, her breathing was normal. His lover's soul got scratched by a man, more precisely, the prince's evil desire. He took slow steps towards her bed. Upon realizing another person's presence, Vine tried to open her bloody vision, but failed. She again tried and half opened them. With half open eyes, she saw her lover bringing his hands towards her cheek to touch her. But before she could feel the warmth of his palm, he brought them back and went out of the room hurriedly. Do I disgust you now, my love? She closed her eyes in pain as silent tears made their way. Almost four days later. Vine was standing in front of the deep pond while looking into the water. She saw her own reflection in it and turned her face in pain and disgust. Vine's body wasn't fully healed, but she could now come out of the pit. In those four days, Jungkook didn't visit her. She couldn't even have the courage to meet her parents. So she came here. Maybe this is the only place now where she could get peace and forget her sufferings. Maybe this is the only way now. With tears in her eyes, she said. Closing her eyes, she was about to jump in the pond, but 